Hi there everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I'm going to do my uh, what sold on eBay video for the first half of January. So this will be January 1st through the 15th. I'm going to show you, um, let's see, I think 17 of the better sales. And so my actual, okay, so for January the 1st through the 15th I sold 25 items on eBay. And the cost of those items was $136, and my profit after eBay fees and everything, my actual profit was $609, so not terrible. Um, actually, that's pretty pretty decent for two weeks. Okay, so the cost of these items was um, about $80 if you add up the um, what I paid for it plus the sales tax, so a little over eighty dollars. Um, my profit was five hundred and forty four dollars. Let's see, eBay made about eighty one dollars, PayPal made about thirty dollars, and the post office made about one hundred and forty five dollars. So there you go. All right. All right, so the first item I'm going to share with you is this really cool set of Melamine. Um, Meepal, Metpal, I don't know how to say that, kitchen utensils. And I found these at the Goodwill. They were all taped together for $1.50. All right, I was going to let you see that. So it says Meepal, Meepal, Melamine, Rusty Design, Made in Denmark, all that stuff. So that's what those were. Um, one of them was broken a little bit. It was cracked right there. You can see that. But they sold for $35 plus shipping. So not bad. I paid $1.50 for those. What this, this is is some kind of a power distribution unit for like, um, I think it's for like computers and server racks and things like, things like that. Because it's like, it's got a rack mounted to it. Kind of like you would route, mount to like a rack. You know, if you had like a server, a room with like servers in it and stuff. I don't know. Anyways, my husband found this for $25 at a thrift store, and it sold for $60. Okay, on this one, um, I'm going to send a shout out to Margaret over at Texas Girl Treasures for this one because she's always talking about these. And I see them occasionally, and I've picked them up a few times, but I don't think I ever listed them. I think we ended up using them ourselves or something. So this one I found at the Goodwill for $2, and it was quite large. You can see there, that's the whole length of the couch, so it's like five feet long right there. And it could go even bigger than that, so it was a really big one. And um, it sold for $35 plus shipping. So that was great. So thanks, Margaret. Okay, next. This is a pair of Coach eyeglasses. I paid $4 for these, and they sold for $40. These are prescription eyeglasses. Somebody will most likely replace the lenses with their own prescription. Forty bucks. Not bad. Alright, let's see. This is a vintage mirror. It was not silver, but I think it was silver plate. Yeah, it was silver plate. And I bought this for four dollars at the thrift store and it sold for twenty dollars. All right, these I wanted to show and talk about children's glasses just a little bit because um, they're just so cute. They were tiny. They were like these baby glasses just for like a toddler, for tiny little things. Um, they did sell for $14. I paid $3 for them, but I had them for a long time. And I've had a lot of um, baby and toddler glasses for a long time in my inventory, and they just don't sell on eBay. So I just wanted to let you know um, if you do have an oppor opportunity to buy a bunch of kids glasses I wouldn't bother with them you know they just they just don't sell very fast I've sold a few pairs here and there but for as many of them as I have in my inventory they just they rarely sell um, this pair I probably had for a year at least so fifteen dollars um, glad to get rid of them but probably won't be buying any more kids eyeglasses for a while all right, this is a pair of Marcon with flex or with auto flex. These I paid three dollars for at the thrift store. Let's see. 
and they were kind of an aviator style auto flex with flex on and um, these were prescription sunglasses and those sold for $45 all right this is a Philips and seal I always buy Philips and seals whenever I find them this is the first time I've ever found one in the box so this was absolutely brand new the box was still taped up with the original um, tape hadn't even been opened and this is also the first time I found one that was colored usually I just find the black ones I've sold probably five or six black ones and they always sell for like fifty dollars or more depending on you know what you have to go with them they have these little pods um, that fit inside for like one cup or two cups or different things like that and so um, this one I bought at the Goodwill for five dollars and it sold for a hundred dollars so definitely if you see these Sensio machines, um, grab them. They're kind of a curved um, coffee machine, and they sell really good. They're very popular. All right, this is a pair of J.Lo eyeglasses. I've been selling a lot of J.Lo eyeglasses. I have four or five pairs in my stock, and they sell really well, $40. Um, $40. Let's see if I can find the logo for you. So that's what they look like, Jennifer Lopez, J.Lo. They sell really good, 40 bucks. And then this is a pair of Bebe prescription eyeglasses. These I paid $3 for. And there you can see the name on the side, Bebe. And then also, probably, yeah, right there on the inside. These are Bebe Low Rise. And I had a case that matched and those sold for $35. All right, this is something that I had had for a really long time as well. Um, this was a, um, a silverware set or a flatware set and it was kind of a porcelain handle. It was really pretty painted. You can see that and it had a nice box and everything. Um, I didn't get very good pictures of these. These we found in a storage unit. So they really didn't cost me anything. Um, I lowered the price way down to $50 and they sold for $50 plus shipping. And shipping was fairly expensive. Um, I think to ship these it was like $40. But then I realized that, you know those, lar those large um, flat rate boxes that are like game boxes or like big long flat, that this fit perfectly into one of those large flat rate boxes if I remove these little hinges off of the um, the case and it was just a couple screws to take them off and so I messaged the buyer and asked them if it was okay with them if I removed those hinges and shipped that way and saved them a lot of money so um, they agreed to that so I refunded them twenty dollars because they originally paid I think it was forty one dollars shipping and I could ship those in that large flat rate box for what sixteen dollars or something so I refunded them back twenty dollars and shipped it in the large flat rate priority mail box so that was a good deal saved everybody a little bit of money and and that way they went priority mail too and they were insured and all that and I haven't heard back from the buyer so they must have been okay with everything must have got the hinges back on okay and everything but they were really pretty you see they'll have little rosebuds on the ends of them. And they're very heavy too. Oh yeah, and the name on them was Inox. You can see that. Okay, this is a set of seven um, little airplane door, um, drawer knobs. Now, in my last video, I had a set of little vintage car door knobs. And these and those cars all came together in a bag at the thrift store and I think it was three dollars for the whole bag yeah it was three dollars for the whole bag there were eight of the cars and only seven of the planes um, so I think I sold the cars for like twenty dollars and the planes sold for fifteen and they sold pretty quickly so they were really cute and they weren't in very they weren't in the best condition either see they had some paint chips and things all right and this is a vintage Corona Smith or Smith Corona um, electric typewriter. I paid seven dollars for this at the Goodwill and it sold for forty dollars. Okay, so this is a pair of Luxottica 
Um, vintage Luxottica eyeglasses. These are prescription eyeglasses. I paid $4.50 for these. Um, they were really pretty. They had they were just gold with some detail. Oh, gold and black actually on the side there. With some pretty detail. Luxottica there. Alright, so those sold for $32. These are my favorite eyeglasses to find. These are the Silhouette uh, rimless, hingeless eyeglasses. I find these, you can see they don't have any hinges, um, so they're just flexible titanium metal. And they're really popular, and apparently they're very expensive too because people are willing to pay $60, $70 for used ones. Um, I find these a lot of times just thrown into a junk bin full of junk sunglasses. Like, you know, they have the people at the thrift stores have no idea what these things are worth. And even see that with the, a lot of the, the wording rubbed off and everything, even then they'll still sell for this much. So you can barely see the markings there. But as long as the, um, the, the, um, the eyepiece and the, the arms are in really good condition, they'll sell for $40, $50 at the very minimum. And they'll sell quickly too. I've sold... I think this is probably my fifth or sixth pair of this type of eyeglasses that I've sold. So they do sell really well. Um, I also find these little silhouette cases pretty often. And these will sell by themselves for $20 if you find them. Or maybe, well, I think I sell them usually for about $17, $18. If you find the larger size, those will sell for $20, $25. They're definitely a, a, something to be on the lookout for. Okay, so this pair I paid a dollar for, including the case. So these I found with the case for a dollar. And they sold for $70. <laughs> Blows me away every time. Okay, and this is a Rival VersaWare Crock-Pot. And so lately I've been trying to pick up some different types of Crock-Pots. Um, I used to sell a lot of vintage Crock-Pots, but um, it got too much for the storage because they were kind of slow sellers. So I've started um, trying stoneware crock pots. So you'll find like indoor grill type crock pots and um, stoneware like this one. Um, this one I paid five dollars for it at the Goodwill and you can see that it was two pieces like that and I listed that it sold within a few days for fifty dollars plus shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for these types of crock pots that are kind of different. Um, and the last thing I have to show you is one of these vintage caboodles cases. These are always great. Um, this one happened to have, let's see, it was in excellent condition. First of all, I had the colors were nice and bright. Um, it was clean. All the pieces were there, even the little trays and everything. Everything worked real smoothly. And it didn't look like it had ever really been used at all. Like the sticker was even still on it. Um, this I listed for $30 and it sold within a couple weeks pretty quickly. These are easy to sell, um, easy to ship and everything. They're not very heavy and they're kind of square. So I like to find these. Um, this one I paid $4 for. All right, so that's all I have to show you today. I'm going to get this posted and um, try to get the last half of January done here pretty soon so I'll be caught up and then I can do more current videos but um thanks for watching the video hope it helped some way and um, leave me a note if you have any questions or anything and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can alright so thanks again for watching and take care